Great Falls, the electric city. Population, roughly 60,000. It is the third largest city in the state and is my home. I've never lived anywhere else and Great Falls has certainly served me well. It is easy to navigate in town. It has many historic and beautiful locations and it has amazing skies. The perfect place for my first location. First on the list, how did Great Falls get its name? It takes its name from the series of five waterfalls in close proximity to the upper Missouri River Basin, a 10 mile stretch of unnavigable waters that gave some pretty famous people some pretty big trouble. Lewis and Clark. On their expedition to find a Northwest Passage, a full water route from coast to coast, Lewis and Clark stumbled upon a problem. These falls were huge and made the river impossible to boat on. The expedition was forced to go around the falls on land, which took nearly a month. Most of the Great Falls have now been converted into dams, which supply power to the city. The dams also generate enough electricity to supply some other parts of the country, as far as Los Angeles. Starting upstream, the first of the falls is Black Eagle Dam. It is 782 feet long and 34 and a half feet high. The powerhouse contains three turbines capable of generating 7 megawatts of power each. The first dam was a timber and rock dam built in 1990, but was replaced in 1926 by a concrete dam. This dam also helped give the city's nickname, the Electric City. The next waterfall is Coulter Falls. It is nearly half a mile long and six feet high. However, Coulter Falls is now submerged behind Rainbow Dam and is barely visible even when the reservoir is emptied. Rainbow Dam, 1,055 feet long, 29 feet high. It was built in 1910, capable of producing 36 megawatts. The dam's power plant is located half a mile away and uses water from both the Rainbow Falls and Crooked Falls, another waterfall, but with no dam. Crooked Falls is about 400 feet long and 19 feet high. The last of the Great Falls is the Great Falls, more commonly known as Ryan Dam, built in 1915. The dam is 1,336 feet long and 60 feet high. A measly number compared to that of the falls, which stand alone at 87 feet high. It is the largest of the five falls. The 10th Street Bridge is a concrete arch bridge that spans the Missouri River. It was designed by Ralph Adams of Spokane, Washington, and George Shanley, an architect of Great Falls, and it was completed in 1920. At the time, it was the longest open spandrel ribbed concrete arch bridge in Montana. However, a new 9th Street Bridge was built in the 1990s, making the 10th Street Bridge useless. It was scheduled for demolition, but preservationists successfully changed the minds of the city government, and the demolition funds were switched to bridge preservation. The hope is to restore the aging historic bridge enough to make it a safe pedestrian walk across the river. A small portion of the restored bridge is currently public, however it is not a popular destination because of the harsh smells put off by the refinery. Despite that, it still shows its beauty off, even at night, with huge floodlights at the bases of the bridge. 
Lewis and Clark made yet another discovery. Giant Springs is a large freshwater spring located on the Missouri River. Its water has a temperature of 54 degrees Fahrenheit and comes from the Little Belt Mountains, 60 miles away. The water takes about 50 years to travel underground before surfacing at this location. There are two other dams along this stretch of the Missouri River. They are not built on waterfalls. Further downstream from Ryan Dam is Moroni Dam, which is 883 feet long and 94 feet high. It is capable of generating 48 megawatts of power. The next dam is located between Rainbow Dam and Ryan Dam. However, in order to get to it, one must travel three miles on foot or on bike following a large, hilly trail. I had never been on this trail, so I was in for an adventure. Cochrane Dam, built in 1958, 753 feet long, 59 feet high, capable of producing 64 megawatts of power. The dam itself is no more impressive than the others, besides perhaps its capability of power, but the journey itself was worth it. I also stopped at Crooked Falls Managed Nature Area because it looked kind of fun. <laughs> 